it more like you know a, a varied set? Was it eclectic or was it was strictly um, drum and bass? Our sets are not strictly drum and bass. We just play what we want to play, actually, and uh, it's a bit of dubstep. I mean, basically, it's drum and bass, eighty percent drum and bass, but a bit of dubstep, a bit of electro. Basically, all the stuff we've been producing and we've been into. That's the stuff we're playing. Basically, all the, the tunes we're playing, we, we only got a bunch of tunes, and most of them are our own tunes. So, uh, we know, we kind of know what we are playing, uh, and mostly all the tunes we're playing are VIP versions, like right, the different right. versions of our tunes we did. Uh, so that those are versions that are not coming out. That only the people can hear when we're DJing live. Do you do that quite a lot, bring out that tunes that won't not necessarily come out? Well, only VIP versions. We, we love to do that. And as well, bootleg versions. We've recently done a, a bootleg of Nero Innocence. Right, right, yeah. yeah. And a remix of uh, Dead Mouse Raise Your Weapon. So there's a, a few exclusive bits in our sets that might attract some people to, to hear us playing out. So a bit of a wider audience to hear your exactly, music. Exactly, yeah, yeah. What we try to do is uh, deliver something a little bit more special. We, we try not to play what everybody else is playing, but then you have to put a little more effort into it. Yeah, make sure, your own yeah, yeah. VIP versions, make your own bootlegs, as you said. Make your, make your own really new mixes and having a special version of almost everything and playing all your new tunes out. That's the yeah, thing. I so, think a lot of people come yeah. to hear a lot of our new tunes we have been producing on our forthcoming album the whole last year and yeah we got a lot of new tunes and can't wait to play them all the, everywhere. The most important thing for us is to build a wow effect when we are playing out so uh, our drops are always a bit unexpected right. like people are thinking oh yeah I know that tune and then it's dropping totally different <laughs> that's what it's all about yeah, in our sets. Bringing out something extra that they would exactly. not normally expect. Yeah. Surprise. Exactly. Bring the surprise. Bring the surprise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Waking so, the people up. <laughs> you seem to do that as well with your productions as well. It seems to be like, you know, it's not really exactly the norm, is it? You know? Exactly, yeah. Tell us a bit about your production style, a bit of your production technique. Is it something that, you know, you think to yourself, right, I'm just going to go in and do a beat or is it actually a logical progression where you do everything? As well with our, as with our teacher set, we try to do really something different. We try to take a lot of other influences into our music, different styles. We're looking what's hot at the moment and try to, to adapt. Right? Yeah, yeah adapt it, take it to drum and bass because drum and bass is still our thing definitely right, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we, we just do something yeah. We, we just do what we feel uh, most but drum and bass is still the main thing. Yeah. I think uh, the, the thing about drum and bass for a while was that people tried to like keep it real, keep it drum and bass, like yeah, yeah. pure drum and bass. And uh, we just try to make something new because it's always the same basically, you know, when people try to just keep it drum and bass, I mean, there's always some innovative things going on, but uh, we just try to uh, kind of transpose other music genres into drum and bass that we are feeling. Yeah, so we so. try to, be, to do some, some different stuff. Production, you know, what software you using? Do you use hardware? Yeah, we, we use at the moment um, as our main DAW uh, Fruity Loops 10. It's really awesome. Right. Like when people hear Fruity Loops, they always <laughs> like a little bit smiling about it. But it really evolved, and the, the, the version 10 is really wicked. It can yeah. do everything, everything else, every other program can do as well. Yes. Do you do like do you do your mastering on there as well, or do you everything? Everything. everything. We have a lot of awesome. USB plugins and. I think the good thing about music, it's, it's really about you. It's not really about what sequence or what programs you're using. It's really what you're doing with it and about your knowledge. It takes so long to know about all of those hundreds and thousands of knobs. And yeah. Yeah. So what's, where's, where's, where are you guys going now? We've got an LP coming out. We've got 12s coming out. What? Yeah. Uh, we just worked on our album, Well Just, it took us about one and a half years, uh, which will be coming out on Hospital Records, nice. either end of September or beginning of October. Uh, Is there a title for that yet, or are we still untitled? It's, it's uh, untitled at the moment, we're still searching for the right name, but we think the the package, the whole album, really fits our sound as it okay. is, uh, and we try to push the level 
uh, like to raise the bar in drum and bass a little bit, make something different as well. Make uh, something to people think about rather than just dancing. Yeah, exactly. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I think there's Challenging something, people. and it's not yeah. only drum and bass, and also there's tempo switches in it, you know, like a drum and bass tune switching to an electro house tune. Right. We just didn't want to be that narrow minded in the production wise. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That, that's not allowed to go with that sort exactly. of thing. Exactly. We're not like that. We just make what we want to do. If we think it can switch from 175 BPM down to 130, we just do it. Right, right, right. And we don't care if somebody says, ah, oh, we shouldn't do that, you know. <laughs> who are they to say, though, really? It's what you want to do, like you said before. As long yeah. as you guys are enjoying doing what you do, exactly. who can say whatever? Yeah. Definitely, yeah.